Uh, now, most research fields have some kind of divide between quantitative and qualitative methods. But this divide is particularly deep in healthcare research. And I have seen in my own uh, research when I've worked in interdisciplinary teams where this, this divide um, was causing problems, actually corpus methods can help mediate uh, between different groups. And indeed, we also need to be aware of over-interpreting results that can be based on a poorly distributed pattern. So for example, we may want to carry out a keyword comparison of 100 male and 100 female speakers. But some of those keywords we find, some of the male or female keywords may only be used by one or two speakers. So they're not really gendered keywords, they're more the result of the idiosyncrasies of maybe one or two speakers. Um, and they don't really tell Within this field, the celebrity field, I think, is authorship analysis. Um, so this is the classic question, who wrote this text? I guess the most canonical case is a person goes missing, text messages continue to arrive from their phone to, you know, family members, friends, whoever. And those individuals say, whoever this is, this is not this person texting me. This is somebody else. Someone has taken control of that device. And the classic question from the police would be, was it the actual owner of the phone? Was it the person who's gone missing or is it somebody else? So the